Mass rearing involves the study and rearing of biological control insects, also called biocontrol agents. These agents are extracted from their native countries and shipped to South Africa after extensive testing to ensure that they are host specific and only eat the target plant. The agents are used as an effective control method to the invasive plant infestation. These agents are bred in a controlled environment for the use of pest control in areas where land and water is invaded by non-indigenous plants. Bionic is a research institution which is part of Rhodes University. It's, for, it's a mass rearing facility for invasive plants and their biological agents. So when we have research, maybe we're doing studies on the invasive plants, that's where we source our plants and that's where we also source the insects from. The agents are an environmentally friendly conservation effort to restore the biodiversity in an area, often destroyed by these invasive plants. Since the mastering program has been implemented at Bionic in 2009, People with disabilities have been employed in collaboration with other agencies to assist with the maintenance of the mass rearing facility and the rearing and collection of the insects as part of a program now called Sisonke and it's a closer word for all together. The small group of Sisonke workers divide their time around doing various activities related to rearing and which accommodate their disabilities. Then through the mass rearing of the biological control agents at this facility, millions of agents have been safely released in invaded areas all over the country to reduce alien invasive plant populations. The release of agents is also a long-term and non-toxic solution to pest control, as compared to pesticides and herbicides which are harmful to the natural environment and need manual labour to maintain get a num like hundreds or thousands of agents at a time like depending on what kind of agent it is maybe it's a chewing agent maybe it's a suck a sap sucking agent usually if it's a sap sucker then you might need to release a lot more than when it's a chewing insect or some something like that but we have to count how many insects we're collecting so that we have the have it in the records that this is the number of insects we've released at this time uh, we usually release when the plant is in good condition in the site so that the, plant, the insects have enough plant material to feed and reproduce it on. These biological control agents are available for free to concerned members of the public who want to get involved in preserving biodiversity and controlling invasive species in their local, natural environments.